before I start the video, I want to say self-improvement is not easy. A lot of people will expect to have linear progress. And I'll explain what that is later on in the video. But a lot of people expect to have fast results, have, you know, positive feedback straight away. Let me tell you, self-improvement is not easy and it takes time. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes discipline, it takes consistency. And don't have the image that self-improvement is so easy and it can just be, you know, so fast. Okay, I can get the benefits like this. No, it takes time. Just like leveling up in a game, it takes time. Just like working on yourself in the gym, exercising. The first day you go to the gym, you don't become hedge. But if you keep doing that, keep doing good workouts, keep eating right, keep eating enough protein, keep sleeping properly. Six months, you'll see a difference. 12 months, a year basically, you will see a difference. Two years, you will see a difference. Massive differences. But no one said on the first day you're going to see a massive difference. It's all about time improving improving day by day improving and to help you on your self-improvement journey i'm going to tell you the common mistakes a lot of people make when they start self-improvement the first mistake is deleting all social medias and and i'll be honest i was one of them yeah i was one of those type of people that and you probably are as well you delete social media off your phone saying i'm not going to be on tiktok i'm not going to be on instagram i'm not going to be on snapchat i'm not going to be on anything i'm not going to be on anything watch then two more days later Let's say the first day you even get past, yeah? Two more days later, you're on Instagram, you're on TikTok, and then you're saying to yourself, oh, how did I fail? What? How did I re-download the app, sign in, and just continue, you know, abusing it? And this is the mistake that a lot of people make, is deleting social medias. You shouldn't do that until you get used to not going on social media frequently. And this can be done by one, disabling notifications. Come on. Stop having notifications on Snapchat. Stop having Instagram notifications. Stop having TikTok notifications. You just turn them off. And if not that, put your phone on Do Not Disturb. So you don't get ding, ding. You know that. You know, I'm telling you now, even I have this problem. When I hear ding on my phone, yeah. Ding. Whatever task you're trying to do. Let's say you're trying to, I don't know. Let's say I was trying to record this video. And I hear my phone go ding. I'm telling you now, I won't be focused in this video. Okay, let me tell you this, yeah. I've, I've learned this thing in Atomic Habits, yeah. It's uh, the four stages. I forgot what it's called exactly. But it's the four stages that always happen like when you're like about to have a habit, yeah. So it's the cue, craving, response, reward. The cue can be the phone ding, ding. I'm telling you now, when you hear that, that cue is already sparked. Then the craving starts. You're, you're wondering, okay, who messaged me? Or who, what, what was the notification? Was it Snapchat? Was it TikTok? Was it Instagram? Was it someone, I don't know, liking my post? Was it someone telling me something that I need to know? Then the response is you going on your phone, checking. Then the reward is you finding out, uh, solving the uncertainty. So, you know, re realizing that, okay, someone texted me or something like that. And it's simple as that. I'm telling you now, you, I know all of you have this. Like if you have a phone, yeah, you know when you hear that notification ding, I'm telling you now, your mind will be just focused on what that text was or whatever the notification was. To eliminate that, I told you, put your phone on do not disturb. Don't delete social media yet. So first, get used to only going on it when you actually need to go on. When you're on self-improvement, this is the perfect way to like stop, reduce the amount of instant gratification you have, yeah? And then I can go, I've already explained what Instagramification is many times on this channel. So you can go click on this video if you want. On your routine, so you should have a routine. I made a video on that as well. You should have a routine where on your timetable, you allocate a time for Instagramification. Because let's be honest, we can't cut out all Instagram, all Instagramification in like a day. It doesn't work like that. When you first start self-improvement, you need to have at least even three hours of Instagramification or even two hours because so addicted to, you know, social media and everything. So you're going to be like, whoa, man, I need to go on my phone. You have allocated time for it. And when you've been doing a lot of stuff like exercising, reading, meditating, journaling, once you get to your Instagramification time, which is, let's say, I don't know, 6 p.m., yeah? You're going to be happy. 
happy because you're like, oh, yeah, I did best of today and I get to have Instagram gratification finally because you're gonna be like, hey, I've been waiting the whole day for this shit. I can't wait. It's cold. So that's what I'm gonna say. You need to allocate time for Instagram gratification. The time you allocate Instagram gratification for, you can go check Snapchat. You can go check Instagram. You can go abuse as much as you want because you put the time for it. And once that time ends, you know you're back to business. You're back to work. And that's what I'm trying to help you guys. You don't want to make that mistake deleting all social media because you are going to download it again. Then, when you get used to, like me, I, I was doing this for like a couple of months, yeah? And I finally got used to, okay, yeah, Snapchat, I don't need this anymore. I can delete it. Second mistake, and I already talked about this in the beginning of the video, linear progress. To have a straight line of progress. And let me tell you now, that's not how it works in self-improvement. You don't... A lot of people do expect it when they start self-improvement. They're like, okay, I'm going to do the, all these good habits. I'm going to do all this stuff. And watch, I'm going to be a king tomorrow. Or the king in a week. It doesn't work like that. Listen. Bro, progress is not linear. Especially in self-improvement. It goes like this, bro. It doesn't go... Boom. It goes like this, bro. Look, look. You start here. And look, look, look. Me like that. It goes like that, bro. And that's the compound effect. Yeah? I have a friend that goes in depth with the whole concept of linear progress and how to become better 1% every day. And that guy's called Nitush. The video will be on the top corner right now. You can watch it if you want. But watch after this video, don't ever try that. So basically, yeah, you expect progress to be so, you know, in a straight line, quick. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm gonna be king in two days or something like that. No, you're gonna fail, and you need to you need to hear this. You are gonna fail. Alright? Stop thinking, okay, I'm gonna have the best progress. I'm never gonna flop. I'm never gonna relapse. I'm never gonna indulge into too much instant gratification. I'm not you are. We're humans. All right, stop acting like you're an AI that can do everything perfect. We are not perfect, but we strive to improve ourselves all the time. And this leads on to the third mistake that a lot of people do. Don't beat yourself up. No, I don't mean like physically to beat yourself up. No, I'm saying don't beat yourself up like generally like your mind. You're like, fuck man, I relapsed again. Now imagine I'm a loser. I'm an idiot. I hate my life. This, that. Bro, that's just going to make you do it again. Seriously, that's going to make you depressed. It's making your mental health even worse. And that's what a lot of people, like, they're trying to go on to self-improvement, but they don't even understand that you shouldn't beat yourself up if you make a mistake. Because you've been learning this habit for over, like, 10 years, bro. You've been do indulging in Instagram gratification many years. So don't beat yourself up if you, you know, have that day you went too many... You know, let's say you had like three hours or four hours of Instagram gratification. Don't beat yourself up for it. Obviously, don't say, okay, yeah, this was good. No. Say, okay, this is bad, but I need to pattern. That, literally. Don't say I'm a loser. I hate my life. That's it. You know, what's the point of self-improvement? I'm just going to be back to this. No. It will make you worse than before you start self-improvement, which is worse. You don't want that for yourself. If you make a mistake, say, okay, own up to the mistake. Say, okay, cool. I made a mistake. But I need to learn from it. Don't say, okay, I made a mistake, so <laughs> I can cry about this the whole day and, and I hate myself. I'm a loser. I'm a lunatic. I hate everything about me. No, don't do that. You'll, you'll have a bad self-image and then that just makes you even more depressed, man. That doesn't even help. Number four, a lot of people make this mistake and I, I personally would say I never actually made this mistake. But I, I, pr I think there's probably people who do, yeah. It's listen to the doubters. I made a video on this as well. It's funny because I'm making this video and it's kind of like a, a summary of my uh, most of the videos I made on this channel But what can I say? It's good to remind people Obviously not repeat yourself because that pisses me off. Stop repeating myself. Ah, all right Listening to the doubters. Yeah, it's just a uh, I'm telling you now This is one of the worst mistakes you can do because one obviously it kind of links with your self-image If you listen to people constantly saying you're never gonna make it You're never gonna become the person you want to become bro Life is gonna be shit for you because you're gonna listen to them. You're like, maybe I'm not Maybe I won't prove them wrong. Maybe I'm just gonna be a joke man and uh, use that as fuel Use the doubt as fuel. That's the perfect way to counter that if someone says you're never, never gonna make it Prove them wrong if someone says you're never gonna, you know, build an aesthetic body, prove them wrong. 
If someone says you're never going to become successful, prove them wrong. Use that every day as motivation. Just proving people wrong. Literally have that in your mind before you do a set in the gym, before you work on your business, before you get up in the morning and go, you know, work hard. Maybe have a run, something. Just always think about the people that doubted you. And number five, and this is probably one of the biggest mistakes, yeah? It's not staying consistent. Now, kind of links with gym again. If you go to the gym and you go once a month, do you expect to do you expect to make results? You're not gonna make results if you go one day in the gym in the whole of the month. Like, what? What world are you living in? Even TRT is not gonna help you, even trend, baloney, whatever. Testosterone, ex hormone, steroids. It's not gonna help you if you're going once a month. It's not gonna help. So stop thinking, you know, meditating for one day a month. It's not gonna it's not gonna help you, bro. Stop thinking it's gonna help you. You need to stay consistent. Reading once a month is not going to help you. Read consistently. Le read at least one page a day. It links with the two-minute rule from Atomic Habits. Once you do the first two minutes of a habit, you'll be more likely to do the whole habit. So running, you could put on your running shoes. Already, you're more likely to run instead of staying there thinking, oh, do I run or do I not? Come on. Go into the gym. Put on your gym clothes. Bro, reading a book, read one page. More likely to read the whole, to read more of the book then. Two minute rule really helps with this. And just remember, if you miss one day of the gym, if you miss one day of meditating, if you miss... Bro, don't beat yourself up, but at the same time, hold yourself accountable. Say, okay, yes, I missed it, but I'm not going to let that happen again. And don't say it in there like a joke, man. Wait, I'm not going to let it happen again and then do three months of no gym. Like, come on, pan up. And that comes to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe. Come on. We want to build a community, man, of self-improvement. I want to see more people on self-improvement. Share this to people that need it. Really. If, you're, if you know a friend that's on self-improvement, or maybe you're on self-improvement, learn from the mistakes of others. Because there's a saying, men learn from the mistakes. Wise men learn from the mistakes of others. Got that from Hamza. My name's Hamza as well You know I've seen people comment on my video Saying oh, Hamza The next Hamza Ah my name is Hamza it, it feels bare weird When I hear that Obviously I rate Hamza like, It's my guy Yeah Even though he doesn't know me But still <laughs> Oh shit I'm joking I'm not crying I'm crying it inside But yeah Yeah That's pretty much it If you enjoyed Comment down If you got this far uh, Car videos might be back because I'm in the car. I hate being in this car, man. Obviously, I was, I'll was explain it one day. Why I record in the car. Trust me. It's not because of Hamza. I've been doing this before Hamza. Don't ever think I was doing it because of Hamza. Please. Go back in my videos, yeah. One month ago, I was in the car. So, yeah. Safe.